I am curious about the poops. What colors they'll be? I don't think that'll happen. They won't be rainbow? <laughs> there is a pill that makes you poop glitter though. We'll have to do that one next. Hello friends and welcome to another video where we are going to be trying Instagram rainbow bagels. I'm pointing at them. Tyler's rules for vlogging. Here's step one, point all the time. Step the two, point. Forceful hand gestures. Julia Roberts. Julia, Julia Rob Hurts. So I saw these rainbow bagels on Instagram probably honestly like over a year and a half ago and mm -hmm. I've seen them consistently on Instagram and online since then. I've seen a few think pieces. Okay, think um, pieces. Maybe more like uh, articles. And every time I see it, I'm like, that looks crazy. I wonder what it tastes like. I want one. The other thing is like, it has been at least a year and a half, I think, since they were released. It's not exactly trendy right now, but I've seen them so many times that I really want to go get them. Subscribe to this channel to see us try out trends a year late. So we're visiting Tyler's sister in New York over the holidays, and I thought, what? What a great opportunity to find these rainbow bagels. Totally. I know they're somewhere in Brooklyn. Somewhere out there. Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, because we're getting rainbow bagels. Yeah, we're gonna get on the train, we're about to head to Brooklyn, and we're gonna get these rainbow bagels once and for all. We're en route, in route, en route. I'm very excited, I've been waiting I'm so long excited. for this I'm moment. I'm very hungry. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Did not see that coming. We're walking up to oh, bagels. the bagel store. It looks like there's nowhere to sit. Most people are just standing outside, but that's okay. We made it out to Brooklyn to get these bagels. There is a crowd outside of the bagel store though, so it seems like they are still doing well. Rain or shine. Maybe even more when it's raining. Yeah. At the end of the rain, Do you know how comes work? the bagel, yeah. and I am stoked to finally get these things after wanting them from Instagram for like two years. Instagram has been taunting me. Well, Instagram guys. and, yeah. is his name Jonathan? Jonathan Shaven. Yeah. If that's his name. I know he's friends with the Kardashians. I've styled Kim Kardashian, so eat these bagels. He's not cake. eating the rainbow bagel, he's just eating a cake. Why is this happening? For it being really rainy outside and kind of like a random day, it's pretty crowded in here. I can imagine on like a nice day, on like a weekend, it's very, very, very crowded. So what I've seen on these rainbow bagels is that you get kind of like a sprinkly, like funfetti type cream cheese, and it's kind of like a dessert bagel. I know you can put other things on the bagels, but I think that what I would want is just the full experience. I'm not gonna get that. We just ordered, and I'm pretty jazzed to get it. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm I really like jazzed. Sure how excited I was until I got here and I saw. I got the classic rainbow bagel with funfetti, and Tyler got the New Year's bagel I'm being art. Festive. With it's New Year's. Purple, silver, and classic black with cool. edible gold stars. Just to clarify, I'm gonna get a bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm really hungry. See, that's my that's real test. Fair. Can you actually use it like a normal bagel? It might be really weird. I'm excited for how the bagel looks. I hope it tastes like a normal bagel, so yeah, I don't then yeah. want a normal bagel afterwards. I, I'm telling you, I think it's just gonna be food color. You know, it's like Coca-Cola is actually clear, and then they put like the brown food coloring in there to make it look more caramel -y. Really? Yeah. I hope it tastes like a rainbow. What if it tastes like Lucky Charms? It's gonna be like Lucky Charms. Taste the rainbow Skittles though. So it's really crowded inside and it's raining outside. So we're gonna go back to Tyler's sister's apartment where we're hanging out and uh, eat them there. Bagel. Bagels. Bagel. Schmear. Bagel. I like it. Okay, so we are here in Tyler's sister's apartment. We have our rainbow bagels. We've been waiting for a little while. They might be a little cold, but I'm excited. The effect is still the same. <clears throat> I just can't believe we have these in our hands, finally, yeah. after all these years. I think the guy said it was like sort of vanilla flavored. Right. But to me, it looks like a giant Fruit Loop. I, I didn't think that it was supposed to taste any different. I thought it was just dyed. I think it's supposed just... to taste like a dessert bagel. I thought it was supposed to like just taste- Like when you get like a pizookie. Well, I then think. I'm like a McGriddle right now. I'm gonna put the meat on it, whatever. It's just I'm mixing things together. Savory, sweet, works all the same. The thing is, at first I thought I was, you know, doing the authentic thing and getting the funfetti, but now seeing Tyler's breakfast bagels make me really Hungry. Real food just fell on the ground. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not sure that the egg and the bacon was a good call. It's kind of got a different consistency than other bagels. What I can tell you about this is that the Funfetti cream cheese is freaking amazing. Well, let me try that. 
I can't really taste the bagel at all. I'm just getting Funfetti cream cheese and it's awesome. Oh yeah. It's basically like better frosting because frosting's too sweet. So this has some cheese in there. Yeah, when frosting gets too sweet, this just kicks in just a little with that, that sour the cheese. Cream, the sour cream cheese flavor. The bagel is aesthetically hilarious. I want to take an Instagram with it. Mm -hmm. And a it's little bit. really spongy inside. I de in this just to get a bite of Tyler's. It's not bad. Right. It just doesn't taste like it's supposed to be like that. No, exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. Because like, it still tastes like egg and an egg mm. sandwich. There's eggs and cheese and for mine, bacon. So it, that tastes good. It's just, it's delivery device just is just like a together. little bit different. Aesthetically, it actually definitely exceeds expectations. They're adorable. Like they're the they're cutest so little cute. trinkets ever and you do want to eat them. So it's really worth going to and trying out. I mean, it, it looks like a Scooby-Doo like mystery machine. It's literally the pimp my ride. It's the exhibit bagel. Will I replace all of my bagels with rainbow bagels? Because no. you still need like sesame. You need the everything. You need the everything. But it's super fun to look at. And it's fun to, just for the novelty of it. Thank you for taking it. That was super fun. All right, rainbow bagels, uh, accomplished. Great for your Instagram, extremely and good for your street cred. Yeah. Okay, you walk around with this thing, people are like, mm, they got oh, a seriously good pimped out bagel, bagel, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, click subscribe. Here are my social media handles on which I post things at a pretty normal rate. Check out my next beat where I vlog live every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Come hang out and chat with me. It'll be really awesome. Yeah. I'll be there too. We can talk about rainbow bagels. We can talk about different types of bagels. We can talk about egg sandwiches. Tyler's three areas of conversational expertise.